Stroke happens. Protection works. TAVA results in a significant amount of release debris from large bore device navigation through a hostile atherosclerotic arch and from manipulation in a severely calcified aortic valve. This can lead to ischemic brain injury or stroke. Debris includes material such as atheroma, calcification, aortic wall, thrombus, and even foreign material from the delivery systems of TAVA devices. Since the aortic arch is a main source of debris, a cerebral protection device should minimize any interaction with the calcified and atherosclerotic surface to mitigate the risk of material breaking loose. This means the cerebral protection system should be placed intraluminally in the supraaortic vessels. This intraluminal placement is also the only effective method to secure cerebral embolic protection devices while enabling debris to be captured and removed, therefore not diverting debris to unknown territories. Independent core lab-driven histopathology analyses have confirmed that when Sentinel is used, 99% of patients have debris filtered, regardless of the risk profile of the patient or the TAVR valve type being used. This debris is not insignificant. One out of four patients have an average of 25 pieces larger than 0.5 millimeters in size. Large particles greater than or equal to 0.5 millimeters were found in 90% of all patients and particles larger than 1 millimeter were found in 53% of all patients. Knowing this, it's no surprise that more than 80% of patients have new lesions in the brain seen on DW MRI that weren't there at the beginning of the TAVR procedure. Even small lesions may increase the risk of stroke and death. And we also know that lesion location can be more important than size. In fact, the Sentinel randomized control trial shows that lesion size, i.e. volume, number, and location all matter. An average TAVR procedure damages over 25 million neurons and over 1.4 billion synapses. Using protected TAVR with Sentinel cerebral embolic protection may save over 10 million neurons and over 500 million synapses per patient. Cerebral embolic debris can disrupt brain networks resulting in stroke and more subtle cognitive changes related to executive functioning and reasoning. Devastating consequences for patients and their caregivers. The Sentinel CPS is the only system that effectively captures and removes embolic debris in 99% of TAVR patients, regardless of valve type. Device placement success was achieved in 99.6% of cases. Independent of all other factors, the use of Sentinel was shown to be the strongest predictor in reducing the rate of all strokes in the first seven days post-TAVR by 70%. There were no major adverse events directly associated with the Sentinel device in the Sentinel study. Stroke happens. Protection works. Treat the heart. Protect the brain.